Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. René Magritte was one of the most famous artists in the genre of surrealism. His witty, thought-provoking paintings are held in major museums around the world. I'm going to show you how to recreate this image called the false mirror by using photos of an eye in clouds. We're going to use this eye to create this image. The dimensions of our document are 600 by 1200 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Inside the iris of the eye are clouds. You can find or shoot a photo of fluffy cumulus clouds to use for your Magritte painting. To get your photo into your Magritte document, press Ctrl or Command A to select the entire image and then Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Open up your I document and then press Ctrl or Command V to paste the clouds into it. I'll open the Magritte painting and reduce its view size by sliding its percentage down in the navigator. I'll bring it to a corner and call it up often so we can refer to it. Let's make a copy of the eye by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Go to Filter, Distort, and Pinch. The pinch window will open. I'll reduce the image so we can see the entire eye and refer to Magritte's painting to determine the amount of distortion we should give to our photo. It's clear we need to distort it all the way to 100%. Let's make a copy of the larger eye by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Go to Filter, Blur, and Smart Blur. The Smart Blur window will open. For this image, the radius will be 80, the threshold 40, and will keep the quality high. Applying the Smart Blur smoothed out the overall image, but kept the prominent edges. Let's minimize the painting for the time being. We'll click on the layer mask. Press the letter B to call up your brush tool and making sure black is your foreground color with 100% opacity, start brushing in areas of the eye you'd like to restore, such as the corner of the eye and the eyelids. We'll merge these two layers together by pressing Ctrl or Command E. And then we'll make a copy by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Let's call up the painting again to refer to it. Click anywhere back on our eye document to activate it and then click the pen tool. We'll draw a path around the eye shape inside the eyelids. And when you close the path, right click your mouse or pen and choose make selection. We'll feather the radius 2 pixels. We'll save the selection, go to select, save selection and type in eye shape feathered. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selection. Call up your elliptical marquee tool and go to the middle of the eye and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you click and drag out to make a circle. Press the space bar to reposition the selection. Go to Select, Refine Edge and feather it out 2 pixels. We'll save this so go to Select, Save Selection and we'll name it Iris. In the Channels window, press Ctrl or Command as you click on the iris channel. Then press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you click on the feathered eye shape channel. This cropped the feather eye shape from the iris. We'll save it by going to Select, Save Selection and we'll name it Iris Cropped. We'll make the clouds active and click on the layer mask. We'll click on the chain link to unlink the clouds from its layer mask. This will allow us to reposition the clouds without the layer mask moving with it. Click on the clouds to make it active and then press Ctrl or Command T to call up the transform tool. To see the entire transform on a screen, press Ctrl or Command 0. Click inside the transform to move it and to accept it, click the check mark at the top or just press Enter or Return. To enlarge the image back up, press Ctrl or Command 0. Click on the eye layer and then open up the channels tab. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on the eye shape to call up its selection. Press Ctrl or Command H to hide the selection. Call up your smudge tool and drag the whites of the eye behind the clouds and blend in other areas. Press Ctrl Shift I or Command Shift I to invert the selection and press Ctrl or Command H to hide it. 
Now press the left bracket key to make your brush size smaller. Since the eye in Magritte's painting has no eyelashes, we'll remove them in ours as well. After that, we'll blend in the rest of our image to smooth it all out. We're ready to add the pupil to the center of our image, so go to View and make sure Rulers and Snap are checked. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up the Transform tool, and then click on the ruler on the left and drag out the guideline to the center of your document. It's snapped into place because we have Snap checked. Repeat that for the ruler at the top, then press Enter or Return. Call up your elliptical marquee tool, and then click on the crosshair, press Shift and Alt, or Shift and Option, and then drag out to make a small circle about the size of the one in Magritte's painting. We'll click on the clouds to make it active, and then click on the New Layer icon. Press Alt or Option Delete to fill the selection with black. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selection, and then Ctrl or Command H to hide the guidelines. Click on the eye to make it active, and then call up your brush tool. We're going to brush in thin shadows on the eye under the upper and lower eyelids. We'll choose Darken as a blending mode with an opacity of 20%. We'll call up the eye shape selection, and then go back to Layers. Press Ctrl or Command H to hide the selection and the guidelines, and then to give the whites of the eye some dimension, brush in thin shadows on the top and bottoms of the whites of the eye under the eyelids. We'll brush in shadow on the iris as well, so click on the clouds layer to make it active. Go to Filter, Texture, and Texturizer. You can choose canvas for your texture, but for now I'll choose sandstone, which is a bit smoother. I'll choose 73% for the scaling and 4 for the relief. The light will be from the top. Let's minimize the Magritte painting. Press Ctrl or Command L to call up the Levels window. We'll give our image more punch by making the input midtones darker and the input highlights brighter. Let's brighten the whites of the eyes that surround the iris. To do this, we need to create a selection of just the whites of the eyes. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on the eye shape, and then press Shift and Ctrl or Command as you click on the iris. This deletes the shape of the iris from the eye shape, leaving just the whites of the eye. Make sure white is your foreground color, and we'll change the blending mode to screen. We'll bring down the opacity to about 14%. Press Ctrl or Command H to hide the selection, and brush over the areas along the edge of the iris. So here is our digital homage to Magritte using photos of a real eye and clouds. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.